Joined right now by former Deputy Assistant FBI Director Danny Colson. Danny, we love having you on. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, this person being called a person of interest, that was the first thing I thought about. I thought, why in the world not call him a suspect? Wouldn't that give law enforcement a little bit more leeway, be more of a tool? It doesn't help it one way or another, but he's not a person of interest. He's a suspect. We have his picture. Everybody's identified him. So I don't know. This started much after I left law enforcement. It's some new... Uh, some new device they use to probably to uh, uh, avoid uh, civil liability or something, some lawyer deal. But he's a suspect, and uh, they should have a warrant for him. If uh, they have a warrant for him, they, he's not a he's not a person of a person of interest anymore. He's, he's a subject. Yeah, he's there's huge. It's like a polite way to say, oh, well, you know, I just want to call you in and ask you some questions. But clearly we have these images of him no. with an AR-15 style rifle. You know, investigators have to face this tough terrain, forests, highways, rivers, woods. Where he abandoned his vehicle, uh, near, I guess, a boat dock uh, from what we're hearing, is that a clue or is this possibly a tactic of throwing uh, law enforcement off, off of his trail? Well, I think you have to remember one thing. When these guys do this, uh, they get in a panic situation, and they do really stupid things, and that helps us catch them. So I don't know if we went there to get a boat to get away, or he did it uh, to get access to another uh, rural area. But let me, let me say this. The fact he's in a rural area works to our benefit. Where we don't want him is in the community, where he can break into a house, take hostages, and, and hunker down um, out in the woods. And I was a manhunter. I've done these, and I will tell you, I want him in a rural environment. Uh, we have great technology now. Those police officers do. They have thermal imaging. They have uh, infrared. Um, they have overwatch with the helicopters and fixed wing. Uh, we, the, one of the most recent uh, active shooter situations and fugitive situations was solved because a helicopter spotted the guy in the woods. Um, you can't hide from those, those, uh, that technology, and I like them there. There's no hostages to take. It's one-on-one with the... Uh, with the police, I think actually in the last one, a, a canine unit got the guy. So you can use your dogs, you can use technology. And um, if I'm running an operation, I don't want him in a rural. Uh, I want him in a rural environment and not in an urban environment. It's much better, much safer. Yeah, you you give us some uh, a different perspective, more of a big picture perspective. There are law enforcement reports now, uh, and it's not surprising that somebody from Maine has ties to Massachusetts. I mean, that's pretty common. Uh, but I guess yeah. they they've gotten alert all the way up to uh, New York and throughout New England. Uh, but in light of what you're saying, in these cases, as my dad would say, sin makes you stupid. Uh, you're making mistakes. Your your conscience is bothered. Do you think there's any way this guy could leave the state or the immediate area with so much law enforcement on the ground? Absolutely. He does it by taking a car, take somebody out of the vehicle, somebody out for going to breakfast or whatever, and he gets them, and he could be two or three states away. Although, if I had to guess, he's still there. All right, Danny Colson, I follow your gut before I'd follow mine, considering your experience. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.